So on Thursday, March 3rd, an interesting series based on a true story hits Hulu. Is it worth watching? Let's talk about it. What is up, Flick fans? Welcome back to the channel. I am recording this in the evening, and we need curtains, because the sun is kind of hit me in the chest. I see Jesus. But Amanda Seyfried stars in this Hulu series. I want to talk about it spoiler free, of course. And this limited series chronicles CEO Elizabeth Holmes and her attempt to revolutionize the healthcare industry after dropping out of college and starting a technology company. So the screeners that were sent to me, as far as I know, they were not yet rated. So I don't have an exact age rating for you, but I can tell you that there's a little bit of sexual content in there, cursing every now and then. I won't sit back and tell you it's a hardcore TV MA, but if I had to guess, that's what the rating will be, especially with what we're dealing with in the back half of the season. So a family show, not necessarily, but not near as bad as some of these other shows on TV. But Amanda Seyfried stars in this series as Elizabeth Holmes, who was for a long time the talk of the town. Now, I heard of the situation, but I didn't necessarily know all of the detailed information. I know that Holmes in real life is a sociopath, is a narcissist, is someone who took advantage of so many people and, you know, attempted to do what is morally so wrong. And I knew this was the case while watching this show, but my wife was telling me as we were talking about the true story of it all, what she did is just ridiculously corrupt, but it's all in her own favor. It's all to take herself to the top. Now, at first, she didn't know how she wanted to do it. She just knew she wanted to do it. She understood to be at the top. She had to make decisions that sometimes weren't right. Don't get me wrong, they were right for her and her intentions, but they were not right morally. So that's kind of what we're seeing the beginning of in the first couple of episodes. We see her going to college, understanding this is where her parents want her to be. She's a very smart individual. I mean, she showcases so much from understanding and knowing other languages to comprehending what people that are three to four years into the company are constantly telling her. You know, in the first couple of episodes, she walks into one of the courses that she should not be in. She's trying to get in and just correct someone who has been there for a long time. And that's when I knew, okay, she is very smart, but how is she going to use that wit? Yes, she wants what she wants, but is she powerful enough to do it and to take it? And that's what this show is able to display to us. Starting with the performance, Amanda is incredible in this role. Using less of a physical appearance to sink into this character, it's more so how she adjusts her voice to whatever situation she is in. And as we go along, she realizes that she needs to deepen that voice uh, to make herself sound more convincing and scary in its own special way. And at first I'm like, this feels off, but the character kind of feels off. And I think she's supposed to feel off and you hear Elizabeth Holmes in real life. And yeah, I thought she did a great job in this role. I really did. But my big problem at the beginning of the show and as the sun shines bright in my eyes, it hurts. I didn't want the series to push for us as an audience to root for this character because it's not really what you should be doing, but is the show wanting you to root for her? And the first two to three episodes, I'm thinking to myself, oh no, we're doing it again. Now, that doesn't always ruin a show. It all comes down to how that show is handled. Sometimes I've liked examples of those series and movies in the past, but at the end of the day, you want us to see her as she really is. Thankfully, eventually, we get to that point to where things start changing for her. She's not only taking advantage of people around her, but this is when the lying starts to happen. Lying to her investors, lying to her consumers, and we really start to see the ins and outs when the journalist comes in, people from inside that she's worked with, but slowly, you know, she started to take advantage of them. Thus, they want to bring her down. A lot of people want to bring her down or just prove the fact that what they're doing is so morally wrong. And that makes for an entertaining television show, especially when you look at what goes down at the beginning with Lori Metcalf's character, Professor Gardner, basically telling her, uh, you can't just come in and do it right away. You can't skip the steps. You have to work your way up. You have to prove yourself. And that's what our character of Elizabeth, that's what she's missing. That's what she doesn't comprehend. She doesn't take the time to prove herself. She just wants to go for it, whether she knows or not if it's going to work out. And that's what makes this, again, 
a show that is at least worth watching. Now, when it comes to the actual editing and pacing of the show, there were some odd editing choices, I will say, and there were also moments in the series where I wish we could have settled down quit with the rampant pacing because it feels like when things pick up they really pick up even though you've got a longer series eight episodes an hour a piece also the cast beyond our main character i mentioned laurie metcalf but we also have william h macy bill Irwin, kurtwood smith dylan minette alan ruck as jay i love alan ruck so it was really cool to see these huge stars come in and play these smaller roles. It's also one that as you watch from episode to episode, just keep at it, right? I enjoy the first episode, but I'm thinking to myself, where is this going to go? How is the show trying to make us feel? And thankfully, it did the right thing, uh, which I really appreciate it. Before I give you guys my score, thanks for tuning in. Looking past the terrible lighting, I promise I'll get that fixed. And uh, just hang in with me. Comment your thoughts down below. Are you watching this series on Hulu this weekend? Amanda Seyfried delivers a fantastic performance that tells the true story of someone who takes advantage of many to get to the top. Again, some editing things to look past, but overall, I enjoyed this show. I'm going to 75% with my score. I believe the first three episodes are dropping this weekend, and then one episode per week as it goes. So again, just stick with it. It really starts to get intense, and uh, these kinds of true stories, I think they're interesting, to say the least. All right, guys, you're the best. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you very soon.